theory is these will just clip in. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I guess that just gets bent around. Scout. 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 Well, it's our opinion that uh, our entire society has become entirely too dependent on uh, infrastructure. And I kind of think that maybe we should be moving in a direction towards kind of trying to develop a little bit of independency here. So uh, this entire little project is really just trying to, you know, put lipstick on a pig and uh, do some experimentation and see if we can actually move towards that direction. So right now what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to see if we can set up a, a little bit of a greenhouse, maybe extend our growing season just a little bit. Um, but with that, I wanna see if I can try out uh, a few little ideas that have been kind of spinning around in the, in the back of my head for a little while. And uh, a part of that is actually developing a bit of a water system uh, for this greenhouse. And of course, as you can see, we have plastic over the top of this little area, uh, which obviously would prevent any kind of rainfall from actually hitting any kind of garden that we actually may put here. But the idea is, is or rather what I was kind of thinking is, is that, you know, whenever it rains, a lot of that moisture that, you know, comes down in the rain is actually just lost through absorption uh, into the soil and evaporation. And so I was kind of wondering if maybe I can actually slow down that process a little bit. So the idea is, is that maybe if I can collect rain off of the top of this roof, if you will, actually store it, um, in some barrels and then maybe put that on a drip system and have that just uh, c come out of that system over time instead of all just at once. Hopefully that way we can use, hopefully that way we can actually use less water um, and maybe actually make this thing kind of take care of itself because realistically farming is a full-time job and I'm not a farmer and so everything that we have here we kind of have to develop in a way that it can actually kind of take care of itself. So. That's the goal here, so I guess we'll see how that works out. So we got that portion of the water system set up. I'm really hoping that kind of works out uh, as far as collecting its own rainwater just off the roof of this thing. And really that can kind of be one of the trial tests for our little experiment here to see if we can actually develop later on a, a full-size greenhouse and a really good greenhouse uh, that can actually just take care of the plants inside of it and water them and we don't have to mess with it because again we are not farmers and that farming is not our full-time job and farming is a full-time job so everything that we have out here really needs to be engineered in a way that it can actually take care of our take care of itself so this is a little bit of an experiment in that direction the next thing that we need to do is we really want to take up a lot of the vertical space that's actually in this greenhouse um, not just the stuff that's on the ground so what we need to do is we need to have a water system that's actually going to trickle feed uh, anything that we decide to have up off the ground which hopefully we can do like a gutter system and plant stuff out of that and do a little bit of vertical planting so that would that would be good so what I want to do is I want to see if I can use those same blue drums that we picked up up and make like a makeshift water tower if you will and of course I don't really have any way that I can actually collect water off of that thing so we are gonna have to hook a hose up to that and fill it up periodically but hopefully it's gonna be something that we can just fill up you know once every few days maybe if we can stretch it a week that'd be great um, but we'll see if we can get that set up
All right, well, that's a start. So I guess we're gonna go see if we can get some of those blue barrels and uh, get this thing piped up. And actually maybe see if we can actually grow something this year. Gain a little bit of independence, that'll be good. you can see this the big idea was if i just get a bunch of those little 55 gallon blue barrels that maybe if i chain them all together i can actually make one big water tank and that was kind of the idea because we're doing this on the cheap because it is just an experiment so this is kind of what we got going on i decided to use an old rubber hose here and the reason why is because i traditionally just have a really difficult time anytime i use pvc for this kind of stuff just because there's a little bit of water residual that gets left in these pipes and then it freezes and then it breaks the PVC every time and I end up having to do it all over again. And that's the issue that we ran into with the, uh, the watering system for the chickens over there. So hopefully we can avoid all that by using this rubber hose. So here's the basic idea. So from the bottom, we basically just fill this, um, this barrel up from the, uh, from the top here and that kind of flows up into the top portion of it. They're all connected on the bottom and that way they all kind of fill up because water seeks its own level. And so we'll kind of utilize that and then basically we're gonna have it run down through this pipe and it's go down uh, into the actual greenhouse and hopefully it will therefore irrigate all the things that we have that are above the other tanks over there that the, that the, uh, the gutters actually run off of. Well, as you can see, we had some family come over the other day and help us get a lot of these plants planted. I'm really hoping that the ladies in the family can kind of take over this little side project and that way they can kind of keep up with the, with the garden and, and hopefully as a family we can actually work together to grow a little bit of food here and actually start developing or rather walking down that path towards uh, that idea of independence. Um, but really what we're going to try to do today is now that we actually have those plants in, we're going to see if we can actually start running those irrigation lines now that I have an idea as to where everything goes. Hopefully by the end of today we can actually finally wrap up this project and move on to the more important stuff, which is again, finishing up the rest of that equipment barn.